Good evening. My name is Miguel Carvalho. I'm one of the founders of WeAdapt. WeAdapt is a spin-off from University of Minho as a result of several research projects since 2005. We established the campaign in November 2008. It's not working. So WeAdapt is focusing in the market of people with special needs. WeAdapt offers dignity and autonomy through choice. We are starting um, in a 2.6 billion euros uh, presented market with garments, uh, generating growth capital to enter in the prosthetics and medical uh, devices market, a larger one. We are starting now with garments for people that move on wheelchairs, and that's what's available in the market. But at different levels of research, we have solutions and services for other types of special needs, like Down syndrome, trisomy 21, blind and people with reduced vision, seniors, bedridden people, and people infected with HIV. Sorry. What are their problems? What are their needs? There are safety and comfort needs overlooked. Ease of dress and dress are uh, rehabilitation issues. This is related to their autonomy levels. So they need, they want to be able to dress by themselves. They want to reach some parts of their bodies to, to do some uh, tasks like uh, reach an urine bag. Uh, so it's very common for us to see uh, people on a wheelchair being dressed like this, wearing a training suit, a knitting material, because they are easy to dress, to put on and put, on, put off. Um, a Down syndrome uh, people their anthropometrics, their shape is not uh, adjust to what is available in the market. They can't, they can't buy one shirt in a store and fit it to them. Um, there is lack of comfort. This, for you that are sitting there and move because your sensors are active and your brain tells you to move, they have this sense of capacity affected or in existence. So they cannot feel if something is causing them a pressure point. So this for them can be the result of starting a wound that can end in a pressure ulcer with large costs for national health systems for themselves and their relatives. And about the competition, what is available in the market? There is scarcity. Uh, the, the companies available in the market, in the market making money, they, are normal, they, are, uh, they come from a family business, someone that develops a solution, a relative, and put it online with low technological skills. So, we think, we, we are sure there is uh, a, no, a business opportunity here that we adapt wants to explore. We adapt wants to provide proprietary adapted garments, prosthetics, and medical devices, increasing the comfort, autonomy, self-esteem, and quality of life of people with special needs. These are the four lines for which we rule our research. Selecting comfort materials, developing autonomous solutions like the ones is there, those trousers open, I'll show you later. Reducing pressure points to increase the levels of comfort, do it developing an ergonomity design, taking in consideration their anatomic position and their needs of movement, using functional finishings in the garments. That shirt has anti-odor finishing, hydratant finishing that uh, gives an answer to some needs of uh, these people, but according to fashion trends, according to what is available in the market, according to what anybody, all the others are buying in, uh, in the stores. And to do it, uh, this market needs a multidisciplinary team. We combine insights from different areas of engineering, but also physics, psychology, nursing, and fashion design. It's not a complete team, and we are aware of our limitations. That's why we are here. And the prize we won will allow us to improve uh, uh, our team. But all of this is done together with our partners. Five years ago, when we started this, we started with APD, Portuguese Association of Disability, developing the products that they need, sub, uh, and giving an answer for, for, for their real needs and validating the solutions. And then, after winning the 2008 uh, Start Prize, we, we received lots of contacts from the rehabilitation centers telling us a lot, long time we know this is a need. There are other, other solutions that you can develop. Come, up, come here. We went there, we spent there days finding, identifying new solutions 
to, to those needs. And we're still working together with them, Alcoitão, the CMR school in the Algarve, University of Minho, we are a spin-off. We can use all the labs. We can take advantage of uh, other researchers' uh, projects, and we can bring those, that, those, that knowledge to our niche of market. Brands and designers, Kate Shomari is designing a collection for us, uh, but also enterprises. Every Denison, one of the largest producers of labels in the world, the Amer in America, to the main brands in the world. They are developing together with uh, us and Creative Systems a solution for the blind and people with reduced vision with a uh, provisional patent request in place. But also UTEN. UTEN, we are working with them for almost two years now. We were able to go to US, visit uh, potential partners. We did many contacts there that we are now passing and working together with uh, MIT so you can, we can uh, uh, start uh, our business there, as uh, I'll show you later. So, is there a market? It's a niche market, but it's a large uh, when considered worldwide. We've been spending the last two years working only in Portugal. It's very small, but there is 10% of the world population and increasing suffer some from some kind of disability according to United Nations. Let's look only to US market. There is 54 million people with some kind of disability. 25 million is uh, mobility impairment, and 3.3 million are wheelchair users. This number from 2008 to 2009 increased 22% because of aging, accidents, and the military. They don't die anymore, but they get very damaged. The largest, or it's already the largest affinity group, and expected to double in 15 years. And they have money, 176 billion euros as a discretionary spending power. So, we are starting uh, with IP enabled up to garments prosthetic medical device. We're starting with Fashion Me. Fashion Me, it's the ready to wear and made to measure functional garments, like ones I'm showing here. Uh, and we are patenting the solutions that we are developing. Here I can show you uh, a pair of trousers for which we already have a patent. Other solutions are being uh, uh, patented but not able to, to be shown. But these trousers open in the front open in the in, in, inner leg and allow access to a urine bag so they can wear a pair of jeans and still go outside, not feel, being afraid that the bag will fall, fall down or, or uh, uh, causing them discomfort by being attached to, his le to their legs like they used to, uh, to use it. And this here, we can generate growth, growth uh, capital to enter in uh, growth uh, markets like uh, Body, with Body Me, we are developing prosthetics, physical reconstitution devices to accomplish their uh, needs in terms of atrophy in the lower limbs. This works with their self-esteem. Uh, but also Sense Me, Sense Me combines electronics and um, sensors and electronic devices to achieve uh, rehabilitation functions. And this is not only intentions. We have Sense Me is or has already uh, two FCT projects going on, where from which we want to uh, obtain results and uh, offer to our niche of market. Our niche of market is very loyal. When they are happy, they buy for you. So we are bringing awareness of our label in uh, there with the garments and showing them other products later. Sorry. In terms of position, we adapt once to position higher in terms of design and function, different from the, our main competitors. We want to target first the United States, the US market. It's a 20 billion euros market only for mobility impairment adapted garments. So we want to develop here in Portugal R&D, establish a company in the US, do also R&D, share IP, and from there expand to North to Canada, South, South America, and to Europe. So with the fashion business, generating growth capital for higher growth markets with low cash, we expect large returns. This is only considering the, the garments uh, market. We adapt the inclusive fashion store, providing comfort, autonomy, self-esteem, and quality of life for our clients. These are the faces. We also obtained several prizes in the past, national and international, but our best prizes are uh, these faces of these people, Pedro, with a special jacket for, for a wedding. 
He cannot open his arms to dress a jacket, and we develop a solution for him to put the jacket on. Uh, Olivia, wearing the body me to balance their legs and achieve the standard measurements. Uh, and Mr. Machado, we found him in uh, Santa Casa de Mzicor de Gulga, sit in a, in, a, in a circle with other seniors, wearing a training suit. And now he's wearing here a suit made of Italian fabric, completely changed his image. Let me tell you the story of Mr. Machado. It's a doctor from Porto. He called me to see if I could uh, design for him a shirt. He has his chin always done. He cannot, he cannot wear any more his older shirts. He cannot put a tie on his shirts. And you can see there, that shirt, the color is very large. It comes down here on, the, on his chest. And he's wearing one of our made-to-measure suits. The tie is from his collection, it's not ours. But it, this is the, the, the prizes that we follow, and that give us the grip when we're falling down that hill that you mentioned before, it give us the grip to continue. And uh, tonight you have a chance of fostering our entry in the US market. We are here uh, to work uh, and continue the project. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, uh, I think you've clearly identified that there is a large potential market for, for your product. And at the same time, what I, real, what I notice is that your product is, fact, is very, in, uh, very knowledge intensive. It has a lot of IP in it and is very dependent on the knowledge of the people, that, of its inventors, of the people that are in your company. The question is, how do you plan to address such a large potential market given such a knowledge intensive product? I mean, how do you gain scale uh, rapidly the way you plan to do, given, given the nature of your product? I'm not sure I understood very well the other question. I guess the question is, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of knowledge transfer. When, 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 you, when you try to gain scale, when you try to grow your market, I mean, obviously, you're a four-person four team. Obviously, to, to transfer this knowledge and to develop these products, I mean, how do you gain scale? How do you get this to the U.S. market and cover the U.S. market quickly, given that you're only four people? Okay, we are, not, we are not only four people. Those four people in, in the picture uh, were previous stakeholders of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, presently, it's only myself and Carla, only, only two. The others are still working with us in terms of research. But we are working with other researchers in the University of Minho, and even, and even outside of the university, developing new products, new solutions, uh, like Enterprise, like I told you before, uh, every day, and even Plux is, uh, is working with us. It's our competitor, it's our, it's our client, and our, our, our supplier also. So, um, uh, it's, it's, a large, it's, it's a large group uh, working together. But the good thing is that we tend to misvalue uh, textiles and garments, but I don't know if you know, but the textiles move, move more money in the world than the petrol. Uh, so, everybody buys a pair of jeans. Everybody buys a suit, needs a suit to go to a wedding, a party, needs shirts. So we have that ready to sell. We, are, we, have, uh, we are already, have already a collection that is selling, but we are all selling in Portugal. And we have a, a very small niche of market. If this year's efforts was done in the United States, we would have achieved much better results than we got here in Portugal. Well, I guess my question, what I'm trying to get at probably, is that what I see is that your product requires a, gr a significant degree of customization. I mean, e each customer has a specific need. Yep. How do you basically, like I said, take this knowledge and then okay. cover a very broad market? Yeah. When you know, each customer has an individual need that needs exactly. to be taken care of. Uh, made to measure, made to measure uh, so, uh, solutions and products, it's a growing market. As you are aware, most of the levels now are tailoring the made to measure service. But, these trousers that are here, they are ready to wear. 
they fit anybody in, in all their sizes. Obvious, if I go to a store, well, every time I go to a store and I buy one suit, it all, it's always long in my, I need, it needs to be raised down. There are small minor adjustments, but they are ready. We have the, the, the basic pattern design ready and is uh, average, is ready to wear. But then you can put there more development. You can make it made to measure for them. So it's, it's obvious that the, the, the costs are different in, in both. That's why we need partners. That's why it's not an easy job to do. We have our own collection, but we want to work with labels. We want labels to allow us to adapt their designs also and, and continue to offer the same products they are doing for someone that is on a wheelchair or for someone that is walking. That's only the only difference that we want to see there. Uh, but it's not easy. Uh, that's why we, we start our own label. This was not our intention in the beginning. Thank you.